day, students. On behalf of your teachers, I welcome you all to a new set of lessons in Mathematics 8. I am Teacher Isa, the one who will be with you as we tackle Converse, Inverse, and Contrapositive Statements. In today's learning video, we are expected to formulate the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a conditional statement and state each conditional statement whether it is true or false. Every conditional has three related statements. These are the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the conditional statement. To know more about this, let's consider the illustration and these examples. Recall that a conditional statement is composed of two parts the hypothesis, and the conclusion. The hypothesis is denoted by the variable P, while the conclusion is denoted by the variable Q. In symbols, a conditional statement is written in the form if P, then Q. If I live in Baguio City, then I live in Luzon, is an example of a conditional statement. In this statement, what is the hypothesis? What about the conclusion? In the given statement, the hypothesis is, I live in Baguio City. Thus, the conclusion is, I live in Luzon. Let us now write the three related conditionals of a conditional statement. Let's start with the converse. The converse of a conditional is formed by interchanging the hypothesis and the conclusion. In symbols form, the converse of a conditional is written as if Q, then P. Using the given example, the converse is if I live in Luzon, then I live in Baguio City. Take note, the hypothesis of the conditional became the conclusion of the converse and the conclusion of the conditional is now the hypothesis of the converse. This time, let us write the inverse of a conditional. The inverse of a conditional statement is formed by negating both the hypothesis and the conclusion. In symbols form, the inverse of a conditional is written as if not P, then not Q. Using the given conditional, the inverse is if I do not live in Baguio City, then I do not live in Luzon. Take note, the hypothesis and the conclusion were both negated. The word not is inserted. If in case the word not is in the original conditional, its inverse will not have the word not. 
Lastly, let us try the contrapositive of a conditional statement. The contrapositive of a conditional is formed by interchanging and negating both the hypothesis and the conclusion. In symbols, the contrapositive of a conditional statement is written as if not Q, then not P. Using the given conditional, its contrapositive is if I don't live in Luzon, then I don't live in Baguio City. Again, the hypothesis and the conclusion of the given conditional were interchanged and both were negated. All in all, a conditional has three related statements. It's converse, inverse, and contrapositive. This time, let us find out or decide whether these statements are true or false. Let's start with the conditional. Is, if I live in Baguio City, then I live in Luzon, true or false? It is true. Why? Because Baguio City is located in Luzon. What about its converse? If I live in Luzon, then I live in Baguio City. Mm -hmm. This statement, on the other hand, is false. Why is it so? Because if you live in Luzon, it does not necessarily mean that you live in Baguio City. You might live in Abra, Pangasinan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, NCR, or Batangas. These are all other places in Luzon. Next, the inverse statement. If I don't live in Baguio City, then I don't live in Luzon. Is it true or false? This statement is false. Why is that so? Take note that if you don't live in Baguio City, it does not necessarily mean that you don't live in Luzon. Why? You might be living in Batangas, in Palawan, in Mindoro, but you're still in Luzon. Is that correct? Or is it wrong? Correct! What about the contrapositive of the given conditional? Is it true or false? Let's find out. If I don't live in Luzon, then I don't live in Baguio City. The last statement is true because if you don't live in Luzon, you definitely don't live in Baguio City. You made it! You have already learned how to formulate the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a conditional statement. Aside from that, you have determined whether a statement is true or false. In addition to this, take note that the truth value of a conditional and its contrapositive are logically equivalent. If a conditional is true, 
its contrapositive is also true. If A conditional is false, its contrapositive is also false. On the other hand, the truth value of the converse and the inverse of A conditional are also logically equivalent. If the converse of a conditional is true, its inverse is also true. If the converse of a conditional is false, its inverse is also false. It's now time for us to apply the definitions and the truth values of a conditional and its related statements. Using the conditional, if an angle measures 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. Formulate its converse, inverse, and contrapositive statements. After which, better mean whether each statement is true or false. Timer starts now. Here now are the related statements of the given conditional. Converse. If it is a right angle, then the angle measures 90 degrees. Here, it's its inverse. If an angle doesn't measure 90 degrees, then it is not a right angle. And lastly, here is its contrapositive. If it is not a right angle, then the angle doesn't measure 90 degrees. This time, tell whether the statement is true or false. Is the conditional true? Yes, it is. An angle that measures 90 degrees is a right angle. What about the converse? Is it true or false? The converse of the conditional is true. An angle that measures 90 degrees is a right angle. Let's find out the truth value of its inverse. The inverse of the given conditional is also true. And lastly, the contrapositive of the given conditional is true. Take note that if an angle is not a right angle, then it does not measure 90 degrees. All of the four statements are true. Remember that the conditional and its contrapositive are equivalent statements. Thus, if the conditional is true, then its contrapositive is also true. On the other hand, the converse and inverse of a conditional statement are equivalent. Thus, if the converse is true, then it follows that the inverse is also true. Furthermore, when the conditional and its converse are both true, the two statements can be combined to form what we call a biconditional statement. We use the phrase if and only if, to form the biconditional. Hence, in the just given example, we have an angle measures 90 degrees if and only if it is a right angle. Or, it is a right angle if and only if the angle measures 90 degrees. 
For example, number three, what type of related statement is, if it is not cloudy, then we will go for swimming. If the conditional statement is, if it is cloudy, then we will not go for swimming. Is it the converse, inverse, or contrapositive? The given conditional is, and its converse is, its inverse is, and its contrapositive is, thus, the given related statement is the inverse of the conditional. Let us now wrap up our lesson through the truth value table of a conditional and its related statements. First scenario, if the conditional is true and the converse is false, then the contrapositive of the conditional is true and the inverse of the conditional is false. Second scenario, if the conditional is true and the converse is true, then the contrapositive of the conditional is true and the inverse of the conditional is also true. Take note that in the second scenario, we can have a biconditional statement. Why? because both the conditional and its converse are true. Third scenario, if the conditional is false and its converse is true, then its contrapositive is false while its inverse is true. And fourth scenario, if the conditional is false, and the converse is also false, then the contrapositive of the conditional is false and the inverse of the conditional is also false. Again, the conditional and the contrapositive are equivalent statements and the converse and the inverse are equivalent statements. Congratulations, students! Another set of treasures has been added to your learning box. See you again next time for a new set of lessons.